Okay. So the first thing you want to do is form wall. a shield wall. Keep your cavalry back. Go out and scout and try to draw in the cavalry. Our first objective here is to kill all of the cavalry before engaging the rest of the army. Once we take out their cavalry, we can quickly come in and just mop everybody up. So go out, stir the hornet's nest, pull, pull back. Now what you want to do is pull them back into the shield wall because they're going to get stuck. And they're going to get all tied up. All right, and then start killing as many as you possibly can. Let them get stuck in your shield wall. Go out in the field and kill them. Just kill, kill, kill. The important thing is to keep antagonizing the cavalry so that they come all the way back. All right, and now that they're stuck up against your shield wall, you can start killing them. This is actually the fun part of the game for me. You get a lot of really good kills. Just keep your cavalry back. They're fine where they are. If you're in an open field, I would suggest keeping your cavalry right behind your shield wall. That way archers and anything else can't shoot them. The shield wall is absurdly powerful. I only have like may I have like maybe 20 archers and everybody else is just on foot. And then a good handful of cav and that's my anti-archer. Alright, so right here you see I got them all bunched up. I can just slaughter them. And the horses actually make somewhat of a barricade that get all the other guys stuck. Just chase down the few remaining guys. Alright, now that you've killed the last guy, it's time to scout. Make sure that there's no one else left. Alright, we got no they got nothing. So we're gonna come in. Alright, so now what you want to do? Infantry! Move your infantry into a place where they can't infantry! be hit by the enemy archers. Forward! Cavalry are gonna be pretty critical though. And we're also gonna move up our archers. Footmen! Archers! For Keep out of the range of the archers if you possibly can. Sometimes this is not an option. If you're in an open field, just keep your archers behind the shield wall. You're going to want to kind of poke out, see how many archers they got, where their archers are. It looks like they got all their archers in the front, and they are all going to start shooting at me. Sometimes you get hit, sometimes you don't. For the most part, try not to get hit. All right, so we have all their archers out in front. Now, what's great about the shield wall is it can absorb an enormous amount of fire. I think in this given situation, since we've eliminated all their cavalry, the most logical thing to do here is to actually place our archers up here on this crest overlooking into this bottleneck area down here. Once I have all the archers firing on this, I will take will take my riders, tell them to follow me, and we will start destroying as many archers as we possibly can. So I'm going to have my cavalry charge in, and I'm going to have my infantry charge in. Now keep in mind, they're in shield formation, so they can absorb a lot of this. So, cavalry will disrupt the archers, and my infantry will come in and start cleaning shop. I am going to take advantage of them running, because they see a huge force coming at them, to start picking off as many people as I possibly can. Slaughter. But as my cavalry cuts up their light units and archers, my infantry heads into the thick of it and is just butchering because they're all clustered and they're all spread up apart. And now my cavalry is picking off anyone who runs, and it is picking off anyone who is out of line. This will result in minimal casualties, with maximum destruction. So even though this force outnumbered us by about a hundred people, uh, we we pretty much killed all of them without losing probably probably lost like ten people. Now they're running. Can't let him get away. And I uh, took out 323, 215 of those dying.